this is an application of first order differential equation to Newton's law of cooling. If we leave a glass of hot water on a table, it cools to surrounding room temperature. Newton's law of cooling states that the rate of cooling, that is, how fast is the decrease in temperature, is proportional to the temperature difference between the hot water and the room. This is in general true. For example, if you put the hot tea in the room temperature, the hot tea will cool down very slowly. But if you put the hot tea in the fridge, then the hot tea will cool down very fast. Let us try to express Newton's law of cooling mathematically using differential equation. First, we let T be the temperature of the glass at time T. And let Ts be the surrounding room temperature. Then we know that the rate of change of the glass is the relative of T respect to time, which is proportional to the temperature difference between the glass and the surrounding. That means the relative of temperature of the glass is equal to minus K times the temperature difference T minus Ts, where K is a positive constant determined by other factors such as the shape of the glass or the material it is made of, whether the glass is open or closed, and so on. The negative sign in front of K indicate that the temperature T is decreasing with time T. After we get the differential equation, that is, the relative of temperature of the glass is equal to negative K times the temperature difference T minus Ts, we separate the temperature and the time, and then integrate both sides. The left hand side, we have ln of t minus ts. The right hand side is negative kt plus a constant. Now, we can get rid of the ln using the fact that y equal e power x means ln y equal to x. So, this means t minus ts is e power negative kt plus c. But e power negative kt plus c is equal to e power negative kt times e power c. Now, e power c is actually a constant. Let's call this a, where a is e power c. So, in general, we have T is equal to Ts plus A times E power minus Kt. We are going to find what is the value of A and K. We will explain this by using an example. In this example, a cup of boiling water is allowed to cool in a room where the temperature is maintained constant at 30 degrees Celsius. If after 3 minutes, the water temperature is dropped to 78 degrees Celsius, find the water temperature after 10 minutes. Let's try to put down the key information. 
First, we know Newton's law of cooling say that T equal to Ts plus A times E bar negative T, where Ts is the surrounding temperature. Since the room temperature is maintained at 30 degrees Celsius, that means that Ts is equal to 30. So eventually, T temperature of the glass is equal to 30 plus A e power negative kT. Next, we are going to find what is the value of A. We already know the temperature of the glass T is equal to 30 plus A times e power negative kT. The T is the time there. Now, we also know that in the beginning, the glass contains boiling water. So the temperature of the water, we assume to be 100 degrees Celsius in the beginning. So substitute the time T equals zero and temperature equals 100. Then we get the equation 100 equal to 30 plus A times E power zero. But E power zero is 1. That means that A equal to 70. So the temperature of the glass is T equal to 30 plus 70 E power negative KT. Our next move is to figure out what is the value of K. We already know the temperature of the glass is 30 plus 70 times E power negative KT, where small t is a time. We look at the question again. It says that after 3 minutes, the water temperature drop to 78 degrees Celsius. That means when time equal 3, temperature is equal to 78. Substitute time equal to 3 into the time and temperature 78. Then we have equation 78 equal to 30 plus 70 e power negative 3k. Then 78 minus 30 is 48. So we have 48 equal to 70 e power negative 3k. Divide both sides by 70. We have 48 over 70 is equal to e power negative 3k. Then we call that again if y equal to e power x means ln y equal to x. So which means negative 3k is equal to ln 48 over 70. And then the divide both sides by negative 3, I can find the value of k equal to negative 1 third ln 48 over 70. Press the calculator, you'll find that this is 0 0.12576. So, the temperature of the glass is equal to 30 plus 70 e power negative 0 0.12576 T. After we have obtained the formula for the temperature T, which is equal to 30 plus 70 times e power negative 0 0.12576 T, where the small t is the time, what is the temperature after 10 minutes? So that means put time t equal to 10, we are going to find the temperature. Substitute time t equal to 10, then we have temperature equal to 30 plus 70 e power negative 1.2576.
and you press the calculator, you'll find that the temperature is 49.9 degrees Celsius or approximately 50 degrees Celsius. That complete the answer for part A.